Welcome to Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, home of the Los Scandalous Vault and Dam. Wait, what? Both teams share the same arena? Uh, yeah, except when they're playing each other, and then I don't know who the home team is, really. Ah, uh, now I'm confused, Grim. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Nashville Lycans take on the Los Scandalous Vaults. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, bah! Uh-huh, it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a son. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down to five. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. With kickers, you never know. Mm. It's good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ooh, that hit's gonna 
to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. First down. And it's first and ten. He zings it in there for a four yard gain. Second down and six. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and six. This one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. It looked okay, I think. Not and it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Rex, I'm stopping it right there. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Fumble! You've got to protect the ball better than that. Button! It's a touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip putter in a wig. He just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt 
Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and seven. Oh, look at this guy break tackle, man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff bison head. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. All week, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Third down and never going to happen. For six yards. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grip. That cross stitching, unbelievable. First and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. That pass play was good for three yards. <laughs> and that'll bring up third down and seven. Better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, man. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. They need a good 
return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and three. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. <laughs> You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and ten. <laughs> That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Yo, seriously, now, if you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And that'll be their final timeout. Third down and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. The kick is good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's...
yards, first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. The defensive players, this guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, nice hit. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match scooping time. That's why the girls go. Oh, great throw, great catch, and that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown out good, man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Yeah, Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. And my second half buzz is just kicking it right on time. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. First and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and nine. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's 
First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball, dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life or die. Second down and a lot. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Third down and eight. still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from top. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> and out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches. Oh, what the brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. He 
this guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Much like our wedding night, there was a big explosion, but then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filming the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. First and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Third down and five. He is fighting for every yard. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. That's a six yard gain. <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. Oh, man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out, don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shot you back to life. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. He should have had that one. Third down and ten. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job and Adam? They just be called sinners. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. <laughs> and 
and it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. Yeah, he's seven layers of smarmy grin. What do we get They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Don't hear it coming. Airball! Hey, did we start letting ghosts into the MFL grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Second down and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. See this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The defense is back on their heels, and the offense just keeps rolling. First down and one. And he runs it in for the touchdown. for one when you can go for two. It's always been my philosophy. but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking Bam! about... Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion! <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. Nobody can touch me with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And it's first and ten. Gets the 
ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and four. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. For pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, pick it at yours. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure battle. on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And that'll bring up third down and seven. sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. That's really put the fun back in front. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my... And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? And it's first and ten. <laughs> Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. <laughs>
Third down and, well, good luck. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. The Bolts get their butts handed to them today and lose the game in front of their home team fans. Next time, maybe they'll practice a little harder and cheat a little more. Forget idiots. This is the NFL. You're supposed to cheat. Let that be a lesson to them. Let's go over to the MVP. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...